There's kind of like a transient feel to the paintings. Uh, you know, like it's, it's capturing something in motion and uh, it, it creates a little bit of tension perhaps or intrigue. I call these works uh, uh, ice paintings uh, because ice was a factor in, in producing these works. I had this idea of using Mother Nature as a collaborator. So I waited until winter and it was about 30 below outside. I would put some paint on a canvas and then let it freeze and then put some more paint across it after it had frozen so that, uh, in theory anyway, the, uh, the frozen paint would act like a masking tape, if you will. So it would kind of block out where some of the paint could go. That way I could uh, experiment with uh, different effects of, of freezing and non-freezing. Um, in reality what happened is, is once once the paint froze, it's not like it dried, it just froze. And once I put another uh, bit of paint on top of that, when I brought them inside, they would melt and start running into each other. Um, not that there's anything particularly magical about this. I think artists a lot rely on some uh, accidental events happening to create something new, something that they hadn't you know, uh, preconceived. If knowing the process uh, of how these works were created adds some special meaning to you, then, then that's great. Uh, I think that um, you might get some additional insight as to, you know, how nature works or how the, the combination of human creativity and nature can work together to create uh, uh, new things. Mm -hmm.